Hello dear student, here is Amanat Ali. Today once again I'm gonna share my experience about writing. Today we are at page 72, it's uh, unit 3 of book 4. So the topic of writing today is the, a narrative essay. As you know from the title, narrative means to tell a story, to narrate a story, to tell about your personal experience, an event or a memory or memory you have. For example, in uh, you have something in your life, you have personal experience, someone asks you to share, for example, for your first day at school, um, first accident you had, or anything important in your, I mean, any incident or event in your life you have to describe. So if you go to the organization of this essay, it has the same uh, three parts as every essay has introduction body paragraph and conclusion yes introduction this is the first paragraph uh, is introduction in which you write the thesis statement and another important thing about the introduction we write name of people place and time because when you are telling a story these are the important event who was with you because your experience is some most of the time not alone you have to share so people place and time when it was uh, yes so um, uh, secondly body paragraph we have to tell the main event action of the story and also um, you have to tell in the, the events in order yes in the order not mean you have to keep the sequence first event then second event then third event so it is uh, in this way it's better next uh, is the conclusion you write uh, you summarize the main point and write in the last paragraph okay the important thing about uh, uh, this narrating uh, or narrative essay is expressing order of event here we use time words and time clouds okay let me give you the example of time words as you know from its uh, word here it means one word and clause as you know clause mean for example what is time word one word for example time word is uh, ago last earlier before okay later so word and clauses when we use after we spoke yes before I at yes for example these are the uh, dependent clause dependent clause we use the word dependent for them because they don't give full meaning when we met yes for example uh, it doesn't give full meaning until we connect it to uh, the independent clause for example you are when I uh, we met when we met I was surprised when we met yes for example here before I at yes I um, visited the restaurant before I at yes or any uh, independent clause you can connect okay then next important thing about the uh, this narrative essay is varying sentences pattern what is this varying varying mean differences of the sentence so I mean we use different kind of sentence like shorter sentence longer sentences we use conjunction like compound sentences complex sentences are mm -hmm. for example the first one uh, he's giving shorter sentences we use a shorter sentence to maintain interest and focus yes so important point also we describe and uh, longer sentence we use with conjunction you know what are the conjunction conjunction are the word with which link two independent clauses for example and but so or because something so they, they uh, join two independent clauses then we have subordinators what are subordinators subordinators are the word are uh, words group of words which are used with dependent clause okay let me give you example of subordinate okay for example here if you see when you get to my house yes subordinate clause doesn't express a complete thought cannot stand by itself in a sentence yes for example subordinate clauses are in the uh, here the examples are when you get to my house because I said so so these are 
subordinate clause the word subordinator when because and before are used with it so they cannot stand alone they give full meaning when we connect this clause with another uh, independent clause second and uh, last point is with relative clause what is the difference between relative clause and subordinate clause uh, in relative clause we use relative pronoun relative pronoun what are relative pronoun okay let me tell you here we have uh, relative clauses who that which that where when who these are relative pronouns yeah so relative clause start with relative pronoun so we have these are also clauses these are also dependent clauses when we connect it with men are independent clause it give full meaning so in the narrative essay we use same thing mean the subordinators we use relative clauses we use conjunction and we use shorter sentences okay let me go to the other page yes so let's move to other page here is uh, br brainstorming ideas are given for example say, uh, here he has given what happened age 5 china cup maybe a writer's experience age 8 dance lessons age 10 broken arm survival survival course driving lesson so in different times the writer is sharing his experience now you have to share your experience here for example at the age of 5 what happened with you maybe you went to school then at the age of 8 what happened you have to write important event at the age of 8 maybe yeah uh, anything happened in your life at the age of 10 what happened in your life uh, 12 15 the first time you drove the car you have had a small ex accident yes maybe you have uh, i mean first day at school last day at school so some important event like this okay then we'll move to exercise b choose one of the event of your timeline here above is the, your timeline here first you have to fill it yes and then you have to write here what happened I mean maybe first day at school first accident yes you got something first car you uh, drove or first car you uh, bought or something anything you can write okay now here is uh, an essay yeah uh, moral essay my mother's china cup so this is not description not a descriptive it's in a narrative essay the writer she wants she's writing about uh, the story of her life once she was five year old maybe yeah she uh, saw ma her mother's cups uh, so she always uh, wished for um, using this but um, she could not once she tried to uh, touch this cup it was I mean in the cupboard so what happened she has been sharing her experience as you know that if we see the organization of the essay look here the introduction body paragraph one body paragraph through two yeah and we have body paragraph three and then conclusion so here this is I mean organization okay if let's move to another page for the exercise yeah you have to read this uh, let's say on the previous page and uh, solve the exercise who are the people in the narrative maybe the writer yeah who you have to read in the introductory paragraph and the answer is given where does the action take place in the kitchen in the bedroom where you have to find out when does the action take place any what was the time when she was five or ten years old next if um, okay let's move to uh, exercise c you have finished exercise b it's complete outline of the essay you don't have to use the writer exact word you don't have you have to use your own word so okay, how can you introductory ideas what are the introductory ideas then body paragraph one main event in the story important interesting detail yes you have to read body paragraph one two and three and find out the interesting detail here let's go back 
here you have to find out read and find out and you can do it and show it to your teacher when you have online sessions yes now the next is exercise D if you have completed you have to move to exercise D and solve the exercise you have to what do you need to do look at body paragraph 3 of the mother's my mother's china cup page 75 you have to find out these words or write or write the shortest sentence what is the shortest sentence how many conjunction did you find conjunction like linking verbs how many subordinators mean subordinator with subordinating clause yes and relative clause how many relative clause or something has commas around it important thing what does relative clause describe you have to do this exercise then here yes let's move to exercise e work with a partner rewrite the paragraph below yeah this is paragraph you have to rewrite because maybe they, these are shorter sentences you have to use um, subordinator in clause or conjunction or the subordinators conjunction and relative pronoun to uh, rewrite it and then you have to solve this exercise how many shorter sentences how many sentences have conjunction how many sentences have subordinators how many sentences have relative clauses okay you have to do it and show it to your teacher in the live session then we have the next exercise you read the rest of essay from activity E here is complete essay yeah you have to read it go to next page and you have to do this what is it what does he want from us yeah choose one of the paragraph in the essay circle the conjunction okay any paragraph for example you can choose yeah choose this paragraph this paragraph or this any of the paragraph and what do you need to do uh, circle the conjunction yeah if it is conjunction then circle it underline the subordinators subordinator put star next to relative clause next to relative clause put star yeah okay so conjunction as you know conjunction connects to independent clauses like and but so or or other and subordinator they use with the subordinating clause they don't give full meaning until we connect it to the independent clause and then relative clause used with relative pronoun like um, which whose who that everything yes then yes we have to go to uh, past uh, the grammar portion there is past perfect and past perfect continuous what is the difference past perfect and past perfect okay we'll go to in detail past perfect is okay if we I draw the timeline yeah so here it is future present and past past perfect is something some event happened before another event happened before another event here yeah. sorry yeah happened before another event okay where will mark for example here past perfect happened here yeah happened and finished here no more yes so we also use uh, when we uh, you uh, describe past perfect we also use simple past before another event it might be simple past here past perfect something happened for example my friend had left for real when I went to his apartment we have two events my friend had left I went to the apartment so uh, what happened first my friend left so we pass perfect we will write here pass perfect marked here yeah so um, uh, pass perfect give background information about event situation okay for example here he is giving the example 
everyone every morning no matter how late he had gone to bed my father rose at 5:30 okay i got the job because i had lived so first this event earlier event and then we have the later event so simple past is used sorry yeah so simple past is used uh, for the later event past perfect is used for the earlier event so uh, for example you can give any other sentence yes uh, the teacher had finished the class when i reached so what happened first teacher had finished the class we will put past perfect first yes teacher has finished the class when i reached so uh, when i logged in or something uh, yeah so past perfect we use something happen in past and finished in past so we use time word basic time clauses yeah with past time clauses for example past time clauses we use when until by the time yeah for example by the time when I, uh, when i had dried the cup we put them back yes past time clauses when i had and here i until he spoke past time clause yes by the time these are the clauses past time clauses we use secondly second thing is past perfect continuous or past perfect progressive this is also where we mark it on timeline yeah for example it is future present past so it have it has been happening what it says action begin in the past and continue begin in the past and continue up to another past event yeah yes happen in happening in past then finished in past no more in present happening maybe happening for a little longer yeah i had been living there for 6 month i had been living in riyadh for 6 month yeah i had been writing stories for many years i had she had so something had been happening for a little longer yeah had been happening for for, for some time so this is uh what we show it uh, past perfect continuous in the uh, on the timeline yeah next we have the exercise a read the sentences underline the past perfect okay what does the writer want from us underline the past perfect and past perfect continuous and this uh, verb and circle the simple past if it is simple past circle Yeah so you have to go here number 1 my mother had look here yeah uh, label the verb one for the earlier event and two for the later event first example here is then my mother had collection of very small china cup and sauce she, she had collected first event she had collected them throughout her life first event second event so past perfect we have and simple Yeah, I had only washed a few when the beautiful blue and white cup slipped from my hand. So you have to uh, do the same thing. Past perfect or past perfect continuous. You have to underline it. Simple past. You have to circle. Yeah. For example, uh, slipped. It is simple past. We have to uh, circle it. So you have to this do this exercise and show it to your teacher in the. online class same is the thing you have to do with the rest of the sentences and now here we have the other exercise combined the sentences using time expression yes time expression like uh, until by the time when like time expression change the simple past verb to the past perfect what do we need to do simple past change it into past perfect yeah in simple past and uh, our past perfect or you can change it into past perfect yeah continuous past perfect progressive here you have to do this exercise uh, and you have uh, you have to show it to your teacher during the online session i offered to pay for lunch i realized that i didn't have any money okay look 
here we have two I had I afford to pay for lunch I realized that I didn't have money look what happened first I realized that I didn't have money this is second event so first event so you have to change uh, it the simple past into past perfect and perfect continuous you have to do this exercise and show it to your teacher when you have online class thank you so much for watching and having a great time thank you